Hi, my name is Rajesh Pavitran and I am the CEO and founder of Boon Tech. As part of the blockchain video series today, we are going to discuss about Blockstack. Blockchain technology has been designed to solve the double spending problem to establish consensus in a decentralized and trustless peer-to-peer -peer network. The blockchain structure is well suited for maintaining a record of all the transactions on the network. However, blockchain is not designed for storing large volumes of data or messaging between the peers. For developing decentralized applications that work on a blockchain, blockchain network, other specialized solutions are required for storage and messaging. The key blocks in the, st in the stack includes 1. A decentralized computation platform, 2. A decentralized messaging platform, and 3. A decentralized storage platform. Let us look at each block in the blockchain stack one by one. Decentralized computation platform, Ethereum. Ethereum is an open and programmable blockchain platform. Ethereum follows, Ethereum allows development of decentralized blockchain applications through the use of smart contracts that perform arbitrarily complex computations Anyone can sign up for the platform and create an Ethereum account. Users can create and deploy smart contracts to the Ethereum platform and build decentralized applications. The platform is not owned or controlled by any entity and is powered by the peers who run the Ethereum nodes. The key components of Ethereum include a runtime environment for smart contracts and a peer-to-peer -peer network protocol. Let us look at the key concept related to the Ethereum platform in more detail. Ethereum Virtual Machine Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM, is the runtime environment for smart contracts in Ethereum in an isolated execution environment. All the nodes in the blockchain network perform the same communications thus providing redundancy in the execution of smart contracts. While this massive amount of redundancy is not an efficient approach for execution, but this is required to maintain consensus in the network where there is no centralized authority or a trusted third party. Accounts Ethereum has two types of accounts. Ex externally owned accounts or EOAS and contract accounts or EOAs are the accounts which are owned and controlled by the users. Each EOA has an Ether balance associated with it. These accounts can send transactions to the other EOAs or contract accounts. Each externally owned account EOA has a public private key pair associated with it. The account address is derived from the public key. When a new EOA is created, a JSON key file is created which has the public and the private keys associated with the account. The private key is encrypted with the password which is, for, which is provided while creating the account. For sending transactions to, to other accounts, the private key and the account password are required. The contract accounts are controlled by the associated contract code which is stored with the account. The contract code execution is triggered by transactions sent by EOAs or messages sent by other contracts. Blocks. The transactions in a blockchain network are bundled into blocks and executed on all the participant nodes. A blockchain, a block contains a transaction list, the most recent state, a block number, and a difficulty value. If there are conflicting transactions on the network, for example, transactions that do double spending, only one of them is selected to become a part of the block. The blocks are added to the blockchain at regular intervals. Transactions and messages. Transactions are the messages which are sent by externally owned accounts or EOAs to the other EOAs or contract accounts. Each transaction includes the address of the recipient, transaction data, payload, and a transaction value. When a transaction is sent to an EOA, the transaction value is transformed to the recipient. When a transaction is sent to a contract account, the transaction data, payload, 
transaction data payload is used to provide input to the contract function to be executed. Transactions are signed by the sender's private key. Transactions are selected and include in the blocks in the mining process. The state of the network is changed only by the transaction which are selected for inclusion in the blocks. The transaction on a blockchain network can be read by all the participating nodes in the network. Contracts deployed on a blockchain network can send messages to other contracts. The difference between a transaction and a message is that a message is produced by a contract while a transaction is produced by an EOA. Thank you very much for watching. I, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video.